Who wants to do the intro this week? Jackson does. No, I, I did it last night. Jackson time. does. Hey guys, welcome to episode 305 of the official podcast. I'm just warming the seat up. Here's Charlie to do the actual intro. Charlie, take it away. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Charles here again, and we're joined by a special guest. Blame it on Jorge, or or blame it on George if you're an idiot that keeps mispronouncing <laughs> his name. I really, really don't mind, but uh, hey guys, blame it on George here, and I'm two shots in. <laughs> two oh shots. my god. god. <laughs> it was now one shot man. before the podcast started, right? Yeah, this, this man's on the west coast, and he is two <laughs> shots deep at nine in the morning. <laughs> You're gonna forget your own name. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? what am I, uh, Jose? Uh, That's a great opening okay. question. What caused you to have your life spiral out of control like this? <laughs> um... Seriously? No, 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 <laughs> no. Unless you want to tell us, like that's up to you. No, 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 no. Um, no, I can handle my alcohol. It's all good. I just, it's, I just need to loosen up a little. Mm. Like I just woke up, so that's okay. No, no need to. And be And I have nervous. a strong suspicion we're going to talk about some of the darker stuff, uh, in 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 the realm of lost media. So, hey, well. well is I'm Shrek really dark? Because that's going to be my first question. I'm gonna buffalo my way ahead of all of the oh, guys the here Shrek with all stuff. of their questions. <laughs> yes. So Jorge, I have a friend, Mariah. She's been obsessed with some fucking lost Shrek audition tape. To the point yeah. that we'll be having family game nights. And we'll all look over to Mariah, who's completely zoned out, and we'll be like, Mariah, <laughs> it's your turn to play. And she'll go, oh, I'm sorry. I'm fighting with these guys in the Lost Media Discord about Shrek. They just don't get it. <laughs> so what, the what fuck? is She's it? In there? Oh, shit. Uh, basically, in the 90s, there was like a, um, like a demo, like an animation reel uh, for what would become Shrek. It's been lost forever. No one knew it even existed. And then it was found on some dude's uh, demo reel. So now there's like a huge like community looking for Lost Shrek stuff. They've uncovered all sorts of stuff. Is it the... And, uh, is it the... Um... Not the Chris Farley thing. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I couldn't remember if I mean, it was that, Chris Farley or not. That, that's one of it because, you know, Chris Farley was supposed to be Shrek mm -hmm. uh, until he tragically passed away. And then, my, like, the film was almost done. So there's like a whole Shrek film out there with just Chris Farley almost. Really? Wait, that's actually yeah, wild. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, so, didn't also um, didn't also Mike Myers record it normally at first, and then he went back and redid it with a Scottish accent to add more flair to the movie. I'm not sure about that, mm. but I wouldn't disbelieve it because he he does that accent for buff fuck everything. Yeah. <laughs> he does. That, that is really true. Does. Yeah, I love I love Mike Myers, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure in 2002 it was like revolutionary. Yeah, yeah. He, he used the Scottish accent for Fat Bastard in Austin Powers. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure he used it in Love Guru, Wayne's World. I think he's used it in oh, every movie he's to, ever been to in. Be he fair, loves to be fair, it's that. a good accent. He's good at it. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, but the Shrek finds have been crazy. Like, it's just some of the wildest stuff. Mm. Well, what, what, what's so, so wild about it? Like, give us some of the wildest stuff that have come out from the Shrek. Uh, no one just knew it existed. Like, in the Lost Media world, like, we usually know about something. We know that it's gone, and then we just try to find it. They're like continuously finding stuff that we we've never even seen before. Like it's not even it's not like any documentary or anything. So is lost media defined as something that because it seems kind of nebulous, right? To me, some people say lost media is like, oh, I saw this as a kid and they've never aired it again. Yeah. And then other people say like, oh, there might be a rumor of something, but I've never seen it. You know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, we know it exists. It's just gone. So my mm. favorite example is the uh, Sesame Street episode, the Wicked Witch one. That shit, we know it premiered in 1972. We have, like, interviews and, like, some, like, newspaper clippings and some, like, one or two screenshots from the episode. And it, like, traumatized a bunch of kids. <laughs> like, parents were writing into the show saying, oh, I can't believe Sesame Street is giving into witchcraft and Satanism. And, and so we know for sure that exists. It's just, like, it's locked in a vault i like, think they will never release it this entire episode might become a psa to make backups because i uh listen to a lot of your videos and a lot of the issue seems to be and yeah, no one recorded it and no one at the studio oh, bothered like <laughs> saving this on a hard drive it was it was yeah. the 70s though that, they didn't like, have hard drives like that yeah. in the 70s kind they didn't of. have like any elgato they had, capture cards assume, or anything like that they couldn't like record on demand they didn't have tivo well, back then. very good boys but i assume they had some way to f save media no. since they reran episodes still right well, yeah. it, i'm sure we yeah, had some form of storage that's, that's on the production company side or whatever and those also, are much it's more not faulty. just the 70s we have a victim of lost media right uh, here charlie 
Are you yes. still looking oh, for your fucking videos? Oh my god, videos? I forgot well, that, about was that. Yeah. <laughs> that was just stupidity. <laughs> that was just stupidity. That was It was not stupidity. It's called fight or flight response, <laughs> and I I flew. So, uh, do, are you familiar with my lost media, uh, Jorge? Uh, a, a bit. I saw a bigger video. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just break it down for those that aren't in a nutshell. When I first started YouTube, I did all kinds of wacky stuff. I had probably like 500 or more videos that I deleted in 2010. And I've I've been desperately trying to get them back. But YouTube doesn't have backups. No one has backups. So I put a public bounty that I'm 100% sure can never be completed of 25 grand if you could find my old videos. I'd pay per video, but like the whole lump sum would be like 25 grand for all of them. And I'm pretty for sure. all 500. Yeah, 500. Dude, holy fuck! I, I know it's around 500. You deleted I had so many... 500 videos. Yeah, it, it was Gears oh, of War damn. montages, Gears fuck, of War one v ones, Halo machinimas, uh, magic tricks I used to do on camera. Like it was so much what? goofy shit. Oh. And you put all that on YouTube? <laughs> yep, it was all on my channel for about five years. So it was there for a good chunk of time, but I just wasn't popular. Now or wait, 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 wait! You did magic tricks on camera, but you never revealed your face until nope. later. It was it was uh, neck down, so it was just my uh, just my <laughs> little oh, chubby <laughs> my little chubby <laughs> man titties with uh, my deck of cards. What a great oh, view! You would you would have been around like twelve at that point, right? Um, yeah, well, are I was you sure like, doing magic tricks? <laughs> your, <laughs> that sounds correct. Your family <laughs> knew about your YouTube channel from the very beginning, I assume, because I remember you saying that like your mom and dad helped you set it up or got you the equipment for it. No, they never helped me set it up, but they uh, of course they knew about it. Yeah, okay. So yeah. did they? And they of course bought him the equipment. Jackson is a twelve-year-old going to go buy the, like a how many hundred dollar I camera? Like. I literally just said that. Um, but also, yeah. like, did they not down download any of them or save them anywhere? No, maybe? why? They were probably ashamed, and they were very really supportive. But my, my parents were going to download my one v one or my Halo Machinima. Oh no! But the magic like, tricks, maybe. Yeah. Oh, the magic tricks, maybe I could see that, but th that wasn't like the the I don't know the lion's share of those videos. They were mainly like gaming related montages. One v one. So they were getting sick of watching them. They're like, oh fuck, another <laughs> Halo video. So hang on, I have a question. Yeah. You said you pay per video. I uh, ran the numbers on my supercomputer, so 25,000 divided by 500 is 50 bucks. Didn't you say somebody forged the video just to get you to pay? <laughs> yeah. They went through that time drive for 50 bucks? Yeah. That, Down bad. It was a pretty it was a pretty impressive forgery, though, because they, they must have listened to me talking about it during stream. I described one pretty thoroughly. I recorded a buddy of mine's clips on Halo for the sake of making a montage out of it, and they... Pick the right map, the right song. The only thing they fucked up on is they showed the scoreboard at the end and it wasn't my friend's gamer tag. It was just some completely old YouTuber from like 20 years ago. So if I hadn't seen that last clip, I would have paid him out. Oh, wow. so you didn't pay. You would have just given $50 to some random dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the immense amount of money. Is there anything of merit in that video pile? Like any that stand out that make you go, oh, I actually really do want to see this? I, I, there are some videos in there I spent legitimate weeks making. So <laughs> one, in, one in particular was my fifth sniper montage. I'll never forget this. I had worked on it for uh, probably about two and a half weeks of like hardcore Sony Vegas editing transitions. My clips were nuts. And right before I post, I posted it the day before going on my first big field trip to Washington, D.C., the eighth grade Washington, D.C. field trip. I posted it, went on the trip and I came home and I was hoping it'd have like a million views. I was like, this was a masterpiece. I came back and had about 80. <laughs> I was so upset. Hey, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. 80? That's huge. Back in 20, what, 2010? No, 2009. No, it would have been 2008. Uh, that's pretty Probably good. good. Yeah. You almost that's like the old days. You're yeah. about like to the eclipse days. the evolution of dance with that one, Charlie. You got to find it. I know. I bro. I want. I've been desperately, <laughs> desperately trying to find them. <laughs> I, I do message YouTube, like YouTube themselves, about once every year, asking if they found a backup. Yeah, no, it, it's gone. Yeah, oh, it, it's gone. Of all the messages you YouTube must get, like <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's Charlie again for his annual message, pleading for his files back. So yeah, and again, like back at the, like I'm pretty sure no one thought to preserve it, but then you know, after you became like a huge YouTuber, now it's like really valuable. Like, oh shit, we want to see that montage. Yeah. I was just hoping that there. Were, so 
there was an interesting development here. It wouldn't make for like a good lost media story or anything, but I don't know if you know about this, Jorge. There was no, no, this is new to me, dude. I'm learning. Oh, no, I love it. Yeah, so there was this program from MIT. I think it was called um, Video Tomb or something. And the idea behind the project was they were making a full archive of every video that existed on YouTube ever as like a, a cold storage for every piece of content YouTube had. And this gave me a glimmer of hope because apparently they did actually do it for like a few years up to like 2009 or 2010, I think. Oh. And that would have had my videos in it. But the program got shut down and they scrubbed all of it. So that what? tube what no longer fuck? exists. Why? Why? I have Why no idea. Do that? You, they, I have no idea. You did the... Probably you, got expensive. Well, no, yeah, yeah, it's probably very the, expensive. Is it expensive to keep it on storage files that then go offline? At least you still got the like the files on storage, right? I I mean I don't, I don't I'm not an MIT grad. I would imagine I have no clue. storage was expensive back then. I mean, imagine you you said university. Yeah, but YouTube was a fraction right? of what it was now. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, as big still, as it is but now. It was still pretty. You big, would, yeah. as a university student, have to keep up with the server budget of a website like YouTube. Nonetheless, it's not like YouTube was a fucking poor little side project. Even back then, but they did end up getting bought by Google and stuff. You had to have known about those costs when you began the project in the first place, and then it, just to completely and fundamentally go back on what well, the project I mean, maybe they was. overestimated themselves, and they were like, "Oh, this shit is way more than we thought." Yeah, yeah but they, it probably, probably was yeah. just like Surely surprising. To also, them. also, what the fuck are we even doing? No one's even emailing us asking for any backups. We should shut this down. It's a waste of money. And then two days later, Charlie messages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a fanfic I have in my head. I, I was really <laughs> hoping that like an old YouTube employee or even one of the uh, MIT members of this project for some reason still had like old backups of the site and that I could find. But do you have the links? Yeah, I have all the dead links, but they can't be rebuilt. Oh, oh, no, no, no. But there is a website. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you can't put in links and you can't get like private or deleted videos or not, maybe not deleted, but like unlisted stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've tried those, the, but the, the links are super old. They've been dead for so long that I'm pretty sure there's no data that can be pulled. Yeah, from you it can't anymore. pull data that's uh, been erased okay. from the servers. So, ah, uh, unlucky. It's super lost. Mm, it's, sounds like it, the newest video, Jorge. There's not, <laughs> there's not a good story there, Jorge, but if you really want a man who's been very upset by Lost Media, you've got me right here. <laughs> it's just 30 I'm minutes of I'm pretty sure there's like crying. a Discord community somewhere for people looking for that kind of stuff. Maybe. Who knows? Would it's it be, fucking sad, though. Would it be any kind of relief to you if you recreated some of the videos? Do the magic Abs trick from the nipple <laughs> down? <laughs> I don't think so. Go back, play those games, get those same yeah. shots. Yeah, like, edit the same way. montage. The same fucking Linkin Park music. Oh, Add my music film oh, my grade. music went hard. I had some bangers in there. <laughs> I used to be only into Christian rock during this time, so every song <laughs> was a Christian rock band. It was so good. Why are killing fucking people? Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> Okay, so Jorge, what does the process of finding media actually look like? Like, how do people uh, make so progress in the Shrek saga, for instance? Do you do the same thing Charlie did and email the studio? Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of emailing. It's a lot of a lot of digging, a lot of like loose leads and stuff. Um, again, for the I Feel Good animation demo reel, like the like the nineteen ninety six one where Shrek is in his uh, Chris Farley uh, design, like he looks completely different. They just found it on some dudes. Um, demo reel that was on i think it was on like vimeo or something like it was like the most obscure way to find it but it was sort of like beneath our uh beneath our nose the whole time yeah so but nine yeah. times out of ten it's just a, it's just a ton of contacting and just waiting like people will like message me like hey can you find this and then i'll be like oh we'll, we'll give it a shot and then a month later they'll ask any for any updates and we're just waiting like a lot of it's just the waiting game there are some more interesting searches yeah the one i was going to bring up is the um the the sandman clock thing i think that whole lost media search began because someone made a post talking about like an old short that they watched about like a creepy guy in a clock <gasps> yes and i remember this one yeah yeah this that one was really cool that had like a full story behind it and they eventually well maybe i don't want to spoil the ending but they found it in a pretty cool way yeah, yeah, yeah uh it's been a while since i thought about that one so i'm a little rusty with the details but yeah clock man is one of the uh Sort of like the face of the community. It's like the like definitive search. Yeah, that one was because it took like five fucking years. That one went hard. Also, 
To be fair, I mean, imagine being a producer and you're working on actual important stuff and then weirdos on the internet send you emails like, hey, can you dust <laughs> off this old VHS tape somewhere in your archives in the bunker? He's like, yeah, sure, so, I'll get back to you. <laughs> so like a week ago, there was like this mystery that blew up on Twitter, right? Uh, some guy was looking for like what this... Some guy had a family photo of like him and his family. And then in the back, there's a TV that showed a cartoon. And like for six years, I think, he's been asking around on like Tumblr and on Twitter, like ask, asking people like what what this cartoon is. Like, can we find it? Uh, so I made a video about it. And then like in like the next day, someone identified it. So all good. Immediately, everyone started ordering eBay copies of this fucking <laughs> obscure 90s uh, Christmas cartoon where the image originated from. <laughs> so it's sort of like that where I don't know where like people are just like buying these copies. I'm pretty sure the, 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 the seller, the producer must have been tripped out. Yeah. So like the lost media aspect of it kind of makes it more attractive and stuff that maybe wasn't so popular becomes popular. Yeah, it's a mystery. And like nine times out of ten, when people are describing lost media online, like Clockman, they describe it as way, way, way more interesting and yeah. scary than it actually yeah. is. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Because you're working Just on like, like Clockman is actually with his super video, wholesome. Yeah. No, my old videos go so hard. If anyone ever finds those, their <laughs> lives are going to be changed forever. <laughs> no, that is interesting. For over fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, money. You're rich kid. <laughs> Big money for literal like hours and hours and hours and hours of it's work. An, it, it's an impossible task. The reason why is because if you find one video, you'd be able to find all of them. So it wouldn't be just 50 bucks. You'd be able to get well, the whole thing. That's not necessarily grand. true. Maybe like there's an archive on some random forum site of only one of your videos. I, I just find that very hard to believe because my videos were not popular at all, even like for the community standards back then. So you'd have to have been able to like rebuild deleted videos. And if you were able to do that, you'd, you'd be able to do it for the entire chunk. All right, hypothetical though. One of your magic trick videos, an amateur magician watches it and he's like, holy fuck, how did this kid do that? So he <laughs> posts that video onto like all the magic boards and stuff like that. And now you've got one of your videos up on the internet. But all the rest aren't because he's not into Halo <laughs> montages. Or he's downloaded it. Like back in like 2008, yeah, I would download videos onto my iPod. Oh yeah, true. Someone could That's a good point. It. Yeah. Maybe. There was... Here's a call to action. There well, was... that iPod's fucking destroyed now, so... <laughs> oh, well, that's that doesn't bode well for confidence. <laughs> but there was a... One of my regular commenters, his name was XXKillaXClownXX. Oh, he I know to, that guy. I love that guy. Yeah, he used to comment on almost every single one of my videos. Hey, if you're out there, man, if you downloaded those videos, please let me fucking know. That'd be huge. I, I remember I had made the transition from Gears of War to Halo, and he left a comment saying, like... Hey, uh, I think I was Mabo and Sano at the time. Mabo and Sano, I've, I've followed you for a long time, and I'm going to miss your Gears of War, but excited for the future of Halo. <laughs> that, that stuck with me for so long. It was just Jackson. <laughs> what yeah, if it was. was just your mom trying to yeah. pep you up? <laughs> Wait, what, maybe what name did you choose? Clown? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not impossible. No, it literally, yeah, it literally could have been your mom. She caught on and just hopped on an account and was just Encourage following you. everything you do. XX kill a clown 666. Yeah. <laughs> just his mom. <laughs> I could actually see your mom what doing if, that. Charlie, yeah. Charlie, in about 10 years in the future, you're going to be sitting down to dinner and she's going to go, Charlie, it's about time I told you. I'm <laughs> XXX kill a clown. Yeah, everything's <laughs> just going to come you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't that be spooky? Wouldn't that be a spooky coincidence? That uh, would be pretty oh. spooky. You know what is also a spooky coincidence? The fact we're all probably wearing me undies underwear oh, right I now. Mm. I know I, I am. am. I can Jorge. feel it. Uh, so I'm only recording from the top up, so... Uh... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's you are. Mystery. Yeah, we just <laughs> so can't yes. see it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, all <laughs> you need to know... All you need to know is that the spooky season is here. And so is know, the excited. latest Halloween collection by Me Undies, and I'm warning you all now, it's scary soft. They've got limited <laughs> new, limited edition prints for all the Halloween stuff, as well as undies, socks, bralettes, and more to make you feel soft but scared in your micromodal fabric. If you need a last minute costume, you can be lazy and transform into a spooky skeleton with the loungewear set. Or you could be 
whatever fun little pattern they have on there. Be creative, wear your underwear outside. Halloween is one of like four days out of the year that that's perfectly acceptable. And when you're doing that, you're gonna wanna be comfortable, warm, soft, etc. other nice sounding adjectives. The scary soft hype is real. And if you're not impressed with BeUndies, your first pair is on them. And that's a promise. I don't mean on them as they'll wear it. That'd be weird. I mean, <laughs> they will make it right. To get 20% off of your first order and free standard shipping on U.S. orders, go to MeUndies.com slash official. That's 20% off of your first order, free standard shipping on U.S. orders, MeUndies.com slash official. They're very comfortable. Definitely recommend them. Mm -hmm. They're great. Everyone wears I them. I love them. That's all we got. Have you guys ever archived anyone else's shit? Not really. I do. Jorge, back when incels were still not mainstream and before it became a word, you just call anyone on the internet. They oh, actually back when, used like, to have slash a... incels the thing? Yep, true cells. Huh? True, true cells, cells, yes. True cells. Um, what was it? TL TLF? True life? No, true forced loner? Yeah, TFL. What? Those that era. Are they you had accessing their own... your fucking Tor archive there? What <laughs> yeah, was what all the that, was that black magic <laughs> incantations? <laughs> no, they had their own niche little community on YouTube, like five or two, ten years ago, and one of them was, was a guy called like, Kicks oh. Passion. Oh, ah, uh, here we and go. These yeah. guys would get into <laughs> spats with each other, little tiffs, and they would spend all day making videos about each other and just talking shit. And no, you're wrong. Women aren't dumb that way. Women are stupid this way. And one of them I just found, I don't know, funny and interesting in all the wrong ways, of course, for him. And I would archive all of his videos periodically. I would download them because every all the other incels would constantly flag his videos and get them removed. And at some point that guy nuked his channel and he's never been since heard of. I, will not, I now have the only archive of Kicks Passion's channel of 300 videos that just is collecting dust on a four terabyte hard drive somewhere in a box. It's just wait till like 10 or 20 years from now when it becomes like super valuable and people are looking for it. Yeah, when Kicks Passion I becomes think... president of the world or something. <laughs> you should sell all those videos for 50 bucks a pop, Kaya. <laughs> I don't think I will ever get a call like, uh, are you Kaya or something? Yeah, back in the insult days, there used to be a personality <laughs> there. When we heard you have an archive, could we hear back from you? Hey, people know now. Yeah, now if That's Kicks true, Passion yeah. ever does become someone of note, they know you're the only one that has his information. I think it's some videos. dude watching this is like, oh fuck! No, I think it's most or... likely that the FBI would contact Kaya to use it as evidence <laughs> of something that Kicks Passion has eventually done. Against, no, use it as evidence against Kaya for something <laughs> <Yeah>. he's done. <laughs> for archiving? Yeah, I guess maybe if he does become the president, I might hear from the Secret Service, like, okay, we need to erase this blackmail here. <laughs> We're gonna waterboard you. But Kicks, if you ever want to have your channel back and all your videos, I have them. You can have them anytime. <laughs> free of charge. He never saved any no. of his own. Just Kaya. Now, lost YouTube media is, uh, is notoriously pretty difficult to find. Yeah. Um, it's not like we broadcast. It's not like on any DVD or anything. So it's a... Uh, it's a it's a tricky thing, but there are people on 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 the forums and the red. They're like, oh, there's like this video I saw when I was like, you know, twelve or whatever. I'm trying to find it now. And there are YouTubers. Most YouTubers have lost videos. Yeah, to be fair, it's kind of designed that way. I mean, all of these companies they they are kind of averse to hosting nonsense content that's just gonna run up their bill. Like if you're a Twitch streamer and you have like zero views, but you stream five hours, that VOD is gone in like, what, 14 That's days? That's good, That's gone, dude. <laughs> well, well it's, it's not even that complicated. Uh, as you grow larger, it becomes impossible to access certain videos because of how YouTube is designed. So let's use Charlie as an example. Let's say I want to watch one of Charlie's videos that's about four or five years old, but I don't know the name of it. How the fuck would I ever watch it? Are you going to scroll through YouTube yeah. loading the videos in chunks? No way. There's no like directory of every video Especially on a channel. You have to load them all in bulk. Especially with Charlie's fucking YouTube titles. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I think mine are pretty descriptive, honestly. If you just remember one detail about it, you'll be able to find a title. Yeah, such as, this is huge. Yeah, or <laughs> drama. That should be, that, that should be <laughs> helpful. Be mad. <laughs> If I ever wanted to know what you think about drama, I could just Google drama, yeah. Charlie. Or but drama that's, that's, a, 
that's a real fucking like negative view or a negative design of YouTube in my opinion how there's just not a listing of every video on the channel you have to like you can't find this shit you you really if you go to I big channels you can't find those. stuff I imagine a good chunk of those would just be like IMG under slash zero zero one under slash one and then <laughs> yeah yeah they need a better MOVs system for archiving they really do because they only the problem is with youtube you either only get the most popular stuff the oldest stuff or the newest stuff and it's like what about the stuff in the middle what if there's a specific video on a channel i wanted to watch but i don't remember which one it was you can't really do that unless you spend a huge fuckload of time browsing through bulk sucks yeah there should be a way to search by dates just like uh, on yeah. every other platform yeah. twitter has it fucking yeah. even discord has it they, they should have, have a filter date, yeah. they should have filters for channels like oh you can find only videos that are longer than this or videos with like this in the something in the metadata you know there's there's like a, a bunch of ways you could increment that system but all you can do right now is sort by popularity and then like name and that's it Ooh, i believe there is a way actually like if you search it and then you put uh, I N like in uh, colon 2009 like you can like specify the year mm. I believe there's a way and it's like a throwback like it's a it's a really weird way to search through YouTube yeah but even then they don't make that very public or easy to use no yeah, yeah you might be and right. like in the clockman search for example we didn't know what it was called we just referred to it as clockman so that didn't <laughs> fucking help right somebody just posted a search engine where you can search YouTube via the auto-generated subtitles which sounds very, very useful, actually. That wow. does, actually. That's yeah. neat. In the so chat, if, like, you yeah. remember a line or something, you can just type that in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, like, remember the topic that the person talked about, I guess you could type it in, or some vague keywords about the topic and find it. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, voice recognition is just getting better. I mean, YouTube subtitles used to be shit. I don't know if they go back, like, 10 years retroactively to fix the subtitles on those videos or even add subtitles to those videos, but... That's still pretty cool. They've gone pretty solid lately. Yeah, they are actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm All right, doing three uh, shots in. You guys <laughs> turn. Here. <laughs> well, no, here, I, I, I actually just found a really great example aligning what I'm talking about. So I searched critical Call of Duty. <laughs> and Charlie, can you take a rough guess how many Call of Duty videos you uploaded about 10 years ago? I'd say probably like 40. Right. Uh, it gives me one when I search that. And the rest the oh, wow. rest are either like new stuff related to Call of Duty you've done or completely unrelated channels. Like the, like the fucking act man is on here. And it's talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. But it's like, you know, it's like I want more of your... Like, let's say I wanted to go, oh, man, I remember when you and I used to play Call of Duty 10 years ago. I really want to find this one specific video. It's like, this is not going to help me. You know, I have to scroll through literally hundreds of other videos here just to find these results. Yeah, they need better that's systems. A, that's sad. YouTube search is weird. Yeah. Then there's like randomly like a for you section where it's just random shit you see. In the yeah, past. we yeah. had a whole episode talking about how useless that is. Just fucking I don't sucks. know what YouTube's recommended. It's just stuff you've already seen. Mm hmm. And it's usually completely unrelated to what you search entirely. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh, you might like this. You've seen it before. <laughs> watch it again. This might be what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, watch it again. Yeah. It's just a it's just a faulting of the social media game where only new content matters, you know. Otherwise, if it's not new within the last like week, it does not care it's about old. it. It doesn't want to promote it. Doesn't give a shit. It's like the news is like just constantly refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, I think like videos with distinct subjects, like video essays and stuff like that, are still pretty easy to find because you've got more search criteria. Like you know what you're looking for in that particular case. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like just random gaming content or vlogs and stuff. No way. There's no way you're finding that stuff after like six months. No. This search engine is great though i just typed in charlie's channel because you can um, specify the channel and my anus and i found a pokemon <laughs> stadium 2 gameplay from 2010 oh. and it highlighted the line where it says anus and you can click it it's all time stamped like every sentence this is <laughs> amazing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> that's so cool you that's actually amazing. amazing don't let drama youtubers find out about this tool they're, they're all gonna use it to cancel each other now <laughs> true Goodness. <laughs> oh my god, true, yeah.
<laughs> or uh, have you had have you had like a uh, like a white whale of lost media that you've been trying to like track down and get answers on or has everything yes. yeah yeah a ton oh hit me no there's unfortunately a lot of like dead ends and and cold cases what's the one that hurts the most yeah what which one's you up at night for? uh let me think i gotta think about that one the one that hurts the most yeah what's your moby yeah. dick mm -hmm. king koopa's cool cartoons all right well, so what Explain what is that, that? <laughs> 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 okay so you guys know that the 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 fucking mario show right yeah the one the from super like mario the mario super show yes yeah. yes there was a spin-off no one talks about this there was a spin-off starring king koopa it only aired in LA, in, in like SoCal. <laughs> Super obscure. They made like thirty something episodes, like in between shows. It's just Koopa dicking around with 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 uh, with his audience. Was it live action? Um, it was live action. It was a oh. grown ass man in a Koopa suit. Yeah, Holy looks, shit, that's awesome. This looks horrible. It, yeah, yeah, you're seeing it now. Um, and you know they would play like cartoons in between and all that kind of stuff, and it looks cool. And there's like there's nothing about it online. I mean, there, there are some articles and some clips here and there. We have the intro for sure, but there's like not even one episode. Oh, and so all these pictures I'm seeing here of him in the suit and on a set, they're from the intro, I assume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or at least some of them are. No one knew about it for like a decade until, oh, what was it? Some website talked about it like back in like 2010 or some shit. And that was like when people rediscovered it. And since then, like it's, it's just been far too long at that point. Like, no one, even though it was the 90s, so VCRs, like, were usable. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we theorize that someone might have a, a recording somewhere. Oh, and that's what happened. Some guy on Reddit came forward and had, like, yeah, I have, a, I have an episode or two. So that's cool. But other than that, it's, like, completely gone. And I don't know why, but I'm, I just, I really want to see it. <laughs> I mean, it sounds cool. It sounds like it'd be something enjoyable to find. Yeah, but then you look at screenshots and this Bowser costume is some horrifying fucking nightmare shit. It's sort of it the is. stuff of nightmares. Yeah, like, I'm surprised it's him and, like, a bunch of children. It looks yeah. terrible. Holy shit. But I low-key want to see it. And, uh, like, the, the past, like, year or so, we've been, like, contacting different, like, producers and stuff. Yeah, what about... And, did, uh, could you go straight to Nintendo, maybe? Because they would have had to have sanctioned it. They're not going to fucking care. Oh. You know, Nintendo has so much lost media. Asking them... Like, they're just, they're they're not going to care. Well, it's not even that they don't care. It's that they don't want it brought back up because they always want to preserve their modern image. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah there's also Nintendo is what I think of when I think of modern. Modern, yeah. Well, no, the whole, <laughs> the whole point is they don't want you associating with the old stuff. Like, so current Mario is not allowed to deviate from his current design. You no longer can have Mario speaking regular English with a Brooklyn accent. He has to be going, let's -a go, wahoo! If he's doing that anywhere else, they shut it down immediately. That's well, you could dress this up as a copyright issue to Nintendo. They care about those deeply, <laughs> yeah. and then mm, their true. Su Ooh. superstar lawyers would initiate a lawsuit against whoever the fuck ever produced this, and yeah, that would be public record. Their lawyers, their lawyers would find the lost media just to prove that you are infringing on their copyright. Over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would produce the evidence in court. <laughs> yeah, fucking assholes. Every episode, just recreate it on YouTube, and some and Nintendo will come and take it down. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a super super weird show. There's a few of those that I kind of really want to see. Another one is the Gibby pilot. Oh, I actually know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They had the uh, iCarly spinoff that was centered around Gibby, but it never aired. Yeah, Which sounds I cool. About that I mean, I would have watched I it. I had no but, idea. But then some screenshots came out, and it kind of looks like what Dan Schneider would have made, so. Yeah. Is it oh, just yeah. like close up to had... feet for 20 minutes? No, it's Gibby shirtless with a bunch of other kids that, uh, that I yeah. think were also shirtless. And then yeah. episode one, the tickle torture. <laughs> so actually, that was, we had, that was probably in there. We, mm -hmm. the we had Noah up. Monk on the show. Did we talk about that? Uh, his spinoff? I, no. I, I, that was years ago. I vaguely do remember him saying that Gibby was supposed to have a spinoff that didn't air. I vaguely recall that, but it might just be a false memory. I'm not positive. Damn. Yeah, so that's that's also long gone. Even though some screenshots came out, and they're like they're piss poor. Like it's some person taking a photo from like the, the the screen displaying it, but I mean it's it's better than nothing. And I think we have the script. Like, uh, I'd the like episode? to see it, but yeah, yeah. I'd like to see it, um, but it's 
kind of unlikely. I don't know. I don't want to say anything because there have been finds before where I thought they would never happen. So we'll just wait and see. Which one was the most surprising find? Oh, the Sesame Street episode that I mentioned earlier. That shit was gone for 40 years. I've talked to the producers of Sesame Street. I've talked to some of the writers. They're like embarrassed of it. <laughs> I went up to them. I went up to them and I'm like, are there any plans to release it? Like, you don't have to show it on TV. You just put it on, on online where no kid will see it and you'll be good. And they're like, no, no, we just want to move on. They eventually did um, screen it at New York, which I went to. So it was cool seeing like a small snippet. And then it leaked. I have no idea how, but the full, like a clean copy, like it was a studio copy. Like a rip, direct from the source. Like it had like the titles and everything at the beginning. It was a clean, clean rip. So that was really weird. You think the leak came I from never... inside? Like Elmo leaked it directly? Or Oscar the Grab? <laughs> Big Bird was like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Must have been, must have been someone on the crew, right? Some like engineer at uh, tasks with just, hey, copy this DVD to this USB so we can screen this. Okay. Then he makes two USBs. I mean, we know for sure they have the footage, so if not someone, if if not from someone, eh, if not from someone from within, then I don't know. But that was surprising. Like the world lit on fire when that happened uh, in, in the Lost Media community. That he's was the he's the Edward Snowden of Sesame Street. <laughs> he's gonna be hunted for the rest of his life. So, but you <laughs> saw it before it leaked. Yeah, because they did like a rare screening of like other like really elusive rare like sesame street footage was that invite only like did they specifically no, just got a ticket oh okay yeah it's just out of the blue one day they um they decided to do that and uh yeah i went and it was really cool seeing it i got to see the divorce episode that's that's one where i'm i'm stating right now that will never come out why what happens who gets that? a divorce in sesame street yeah. snuffy <laughs> oh wow oh, no, okay no, yeah no i'm not bullshitting yeah snuffy got a fucking divorce and they um Oh, God, it was, like, a year or two ago, but, like, you see him, like, wanting to be with his mom, but, like, it's his dad's turn to, to, to have Snuffy for a bit. It's, it was really, really kind of a <laughs> surreal for Sesame Street. It's pretty on the nose, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and kids were also terrified that their parents wouldn't love, wouldn't love them anymore, that their parents were also going to get a divorce. Was there a positive message to it, or was just, man, divorce yeah, sucks? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> they were trying to teach kids about divorce. Um, that's not, like, a... I guess like a, like a natural kind of thing. I only saw a, a brief clip of the episode. Mm. Um, but that one didn't even air. They test screened it. All the kids hated it. And it was yeah. just scrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, Whereas the no. Wicked Witch episode, at least that one was on... Uh, that, that one aired a few times, so it was plausible. Is that, isn't Sesame Street upping the ante every year, though? I feel like I see a news article every single year where it's like, okay, Sesame Street is adding a character with a drug addiction. <laughs> to teach children yeah, that character drugs with are AIDS. bad. What? Yeah, like that. I keep hearing that. So no, why that would happened. a divorce be out of the picture? Well, back then it was probably out of the picture. It might have been no, a little too... I mean, leaking it today, though. Why would that be just so hideous? Uh, ask them. I don't know. When I talked to them about the Wicked Witch episode, they were just... like They just did, they did, did not want to be associated with that tragic incident. Were they actually terrified kids? I, yeah, I have a feeling it just comes down to test audiences. Like, the kids uh, reacted well to AIDS and didn't react well to marriage divorces, I guess. <laughs> so, the AIDS character <laughs> made it through and the marriage divorce didn't. Yeah, it's just test audiences. Yeah, that's one that I would kill to see. I, mean, I have seen a little bit of it, but uh, no, it's gone, gone. So, what was so terrifying about the witchcraft episode specifically? Dude, it's on YouTube now because it leaked. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, as a 26-year-old, I saw nothing wrong with it. But I guess at the time when uh, color TVs like were just starting to become new and they saw like the witch's green skin, mm. that might have freaked them out. I've read some of the letters where parents were accusing Sesame Street of, of being um, satanic and that like their kids had like nightmares and stuff. The I suppose, old. but that, I mean, parents like that have been around since the dawn of time. Yeah. Where They're they, still around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. When and Sesame Street is a fucking preschool show, so yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe that was just like too hardcore. What maybe for what like year the 70s was... conservative parents, they were just big whiny babies, and this episode was actually oh, yeah. pretty great. It was 1976, apparently. Yeah, that's like wasn't that 76? Yeah, wasn't that the time period of like the what was it, the sat satanic panic or whatever it's called? No, that was the 80s. Oh, that was the 80s. Well, that was even well, mm -hmm. still scary. 
Maybe that's what caused it, I don't know. Every every decade has that <laughs> fucking panic. Like the nineties had it over Pokemon. Fucking no, there were, we're tons still, of we're still having it over Pokemon. And I was reading on Facebook's from some moms melting down about how Pokemon cards will never be welcome in their house. They they don't subscribe to that kind of witchcraft and satanic yeah. sorcery. There's always yeah, religious but, conservative parents who overreact to everything. That's not always, a new concept. Yeah, but they they don't have any power in this decade anymore. And the yeah, pendulum true. swung back. Now it's like, okay, Magic the Gathering. I want you to remove these cards because nudity. It's like, okay, this is just as fucking yeah. retarded. Well, to, to, to be fair, metal. to be fair, they did get cards removed in the beginning because of religious iconography. There were uh, original Magic the Gathering cards with like pentagrams and crosses in them, and then. They got a lot of pushback from those groups that were like, oh, it's satanic, it's blasphemous, so they just ended up removing all the symbols. So those Same guys were uh, always cowards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. What's the big panic today? Fortnite? Mm. Uh, no way. <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft. I don't know, again, all, all of the sexual shit, I guess. I mean, like we said, removing uh, nudity from playing cards. We did a whole bonus about some examples of this, like mm -hmm. how there was a pressure campaign on the Dungeons & Dragons people to change the orcs because some weirdos fucking claimed that orcs represent black people in the game. And everyone was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But they actually like mount pressure and shit. And some of these companies cave. It's, it's a very bizarre way of a uh, panic i guess it's like a moral J panic jackson you you sent us yesterday an article where people were complaining that melania in elven ring is too oh, sexy oh yeah 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 i saw that the, yeah. it was yeah, exactly see Holy that's God, what God, i mean God. that's a great really example because like it's not religious conservative soccer moms riding for polygon right it's, it's mm, fucking mentality has always mm. existed and companies just need to say no and fuck you, that <laughs> would have been it. People just need to not be afraid of sexy women. I don't know why they're so afraid of them. <laughs> That's a hot take. <laughs> I, I, I mean it though. That is I, a hot I, take. I mean it. No, I mean it though. In media, like, like, Old so obviously words. in real life, no, no, not even remotely. But in media, I don't know why people always get upset when there's a sexy woman in something. And want I'm to waiting for it. Marvel to adapt Striparella. <laughs> oh god, what a terrible fucking show. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. I haven't that, that I name in many moons. Bad. I've actually that never seen it, it, but I know it exists. Pamela Anderson. Oh, I've watched the whole show. It's Pamela Anderson as a stri as a superhero who's a stripper by day and a superhero by night or vice versa. <laughs> I watched Ooh. the whole thing as it was airing. It's terrible. But you saw the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, I watched it while it was premiering. It was either on Spike or Comedy Central. Of course it's on fucking Spike. Yeah, it I watched it on TV. Spike, yeah. It was fucking it's, horrendous. It, it's not lost. Like, you can easily find it now. But I, I, I don't no, think he's been... I'm... He hasn't been looking for it, I doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I watched it I'm when it sure premiered on TV however many years ago. Many moons ago when Pam Anderson was a little thing? Yeah. I have no idea what she's up to now. I think... Yeah. She, didn't she pass away? <laughs> no fucking way! I'm pretty she, big. She, she <laughs> sure why why do you think that? <laughs> she's just not working. She's lost uh, media herself. No, oh, she's alive. You're right. She's yeah. alive. Yeah, she, she's, I, she's only 55, Charlie. She, she's doing well. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> her not being Literally, dead the last thing I remember well. was the Borat thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, when yeah, she yeah, got, yeah. It was Bruno, wasn't it? No, it was Borat. It was Borat. Yeah, yeah, she got kidnapped. I assumed she would be like 89 or something. I don't know <laughs> so why. So did I. That's why I thought she maybe wasn't around when, anymore. Maybe because when I was a kid, she was already an adult. So my brain just made that connection. Well, I'm like 30 now, so she must be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how time moves on. Fucking moral Damn. panics. Well, Let's see what other topics rest in we peace, have. Stripperella. Yeah. What would her no, powers? No, I will remember it. I don't even remember. Her whole thing was she was a stripper by day and then a superhero by night, and she had to balance being a stripper and a superhero. A stripper by day must have been and awful. And I, I believe Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe awful. Stan Lee. <laughs> Stan Lee was like a small recurring character in it. I believe. Why would you be a stripper by day? <laughs> You're not gonna get any clients. I don't remember it exactly. This it was would actually a long make more sense to ago. be a superhero by day and stripper by night. Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. It very well might have been. I don't remember, but yeah. You can adapt that. I would like to see Marvel do that. I'd be first in line. 
Does she have her own comic books? Do you know, Andrew? Or was it just that show? Who, Pamela Anderson? No, Stripperilla. No, Stripperilla. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> I, I am, like, clawing now. the deepest recesses of my mind with this show. Um... I, I don't remember anything. I just remember like what her costume looked like and the overall of like theme of the you show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of you pervert! You, you didn't yeah. even get the subtle themes they were trying to get my, out of Stripperilla. My, my TV was too crusted with jizz for me to properly make it out. <laughs> but you it's actually man. like a super progressive like feminist show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it had a really positive message overall, but Andrew just too busy jerking <laughs> off to it. <laughs> well, isn't that the way of the world though? Yeah, maybe Polygon was right. Yeah. Maybe if you rewatch it with an older mind, you would uh, you would appreciate it more. I'd be curious to watch an episode or two, see if it holds up. Probably not. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it holds up. up to it. Probably not. <laughs> Just pretend you really like it, so that all the reactors who love Marvel will watch it. Oh, oh yeah, that uh, would be an interesting one for you to explore, Andrew. Stripperella. Stripperella. When are we adding Stripperella to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Exactly. Yeah. It, hopefully soon. Yeah. Just put her in the background. She doesn't have to I give her own Disney be, Plus show. It could be a fun video. I rewatch an episode or two or Stripperella and talk about it. I haven't seen that in <laughs> so fucking it's long. It's about to be soon. They're running out of superheroes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Why do they even have any more? I, I saw a fucking <laughs> social media post where the promotional photo for it was uh, teasing phase six now or five of the Avengers arc. It's like one of... I thought two just ended. Wasn't that Infinity War? Well, they were supposed to be much further ahead, but then COVID happened and pushed everything really back. So it doesn't feel like anything of substance has happened since Endgame at all. No, there has. I was say like after Endgame, it's all felt like, yeah, like the it's DLC after the... video game. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Completely afterthought shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, guys, there's more story. <laughs> Don't swear. leave. Wait. And there is no cultural, like, movement, or it's not become a part of culture the way Avengers became, uh, the Infinity yeah. Wars, I mean. I mean, you, still to this day, people just, they use um, gifts from the old Marvel movies. The Infinity and War they... hype was fucking unreal. Yeah. yeah. It was, Like, yeah. the months before that movie came out was insane. Yeah. They must have really fucking spent a ton of goddamn money on marketing. But even today, like, what I mean is, it, whenever you see any gift from any new recent marvel movie it's usually to dunk on it like there in our fucking chats the twerking she hulk like may people are just making fun of it they're not sharing it like they did with endgame to be fair she hulk deserves to be made fun of and nothing else oh, well yeah I, I stopped after like <laughs> episode three i have not caught up same um, oh i i was really gung-ho about i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna really really try you do that but with it's, a lot of things i know it's so fucking boring yeah. it is so I fucking didn't... boring I didn't hate it. Like, I was actually, like, okay with it, but I just didn't care. <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't stand Marvel comedy anymore. It's it's just a, a Marvel comedy show, and it, it, yeah. it was so fucking boring. Like, right after, um, oh, God, Love and Thunder, I was like, again? Yeah, oh, God. I want some, I want some serious shit. I guess, I guess we're getting that with the, the new Black Panther film. Yeah, Black Panther trailer didn't God, have any I jokes. Hope. Yeah, there was no jokes in there, which was good. They also have the uh, Nick Fury show coming out, which looks pretty decent. So hopefully. Yet another show. I know. Isn't <laughs> Sam Jackson <laughs> like 600 years old now? Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> dead. Same as Pamela Anderson. They both buried <laughs> he's, the same he's a digital actor the whole time. He's 70 fucking three years old. Holy Isn't fuck. that Holy crazy? Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh man. Dude, these actors, some of them, they just need to retire. Yesterday, I watched a movie called Breach with Bruce Willis. And I think they filmed it just last year or the year before. Guys, I, I like, I've seen YouTube shows with bigger budgets. I think they had like a budget of at most 50,000. And yeah, you could you're... see the dementia on Bruce's Bruce Willis face. Is a sad. So yeah. sad. You gotta remember, case. Bruce is doing these intentionally to make money and doesn't care anymore because of his medical stuff. But uh, I well, know, but it was like can't be that much money. Would you not have? Yeah, would you not have enough to retire at this point and for his kids to no, be just no, comfortable? So, so the whole point is that he's trying to amass whatever nest egg he can for his family because he doesn't want to have to worry about anything because he's like degenerating. No, yeah, I get that, but my point is okay. You were the one of the biggest movie stars to ever live. You've made millions and millions and millions and millions. So now you're taking these roles for what I assume is like belly button lint and two dollars, like that movie did not have a budget. Yeah, that kind of was the most that shitty shit I ever saw. 
<laughs> it was horrific. It only made it only made thirty thousand dollars from box office. Thirty thousand? Yeah. <laughs> it only yes. Did it premiere it? in the theaters? Um, uh, I believe they're direct to streaming. Yeah, they have to be. No, the film. I was gonna was, say like that's like the 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 death of film. The film was released in theaters and on VOD and digital platforms Holy in December shit. 2020, and oh, they made wow. 39,000 bucks. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. What was the budget again? Well, we I don't know, know but it, it surely wasn't more than half of that. They must have made a profit because I did not see any sort of a budget. You guys, it's so fucking cheap. It's not even a B-movie. Yeah, I can't find a budget anywhere online. Maybe it was oh, just well. a tax scam on his behalf. Free money. I love the interview with Sam Jackson where he pressures the uh, interviewer to say the N-word. Oh, that one's a classic. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that one's love that video. The guy that interviewing wild. him takes it perfectly. Like, he, he knows how to handle <laughs> He's that situation. He's so scared. <laughs> <laughs> the fear on his face is perfect. Like, say it. I don't want to. Say it. I'll lose my job. All right, then we're not having this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I love how he fires back, too, though. He's like, it was a really good question. <laughs> and, it's... <laughs> On the next podcast, you guys should just do that with whoever the next guest is. <laughs> it's Sam Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're in the position to do <laughs> oh, that. He'll, yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's I ready to Sa go. I think Sam Jackson had uh, like something that we don't have maybe collectively as a group that maybe allowed him to... Uh, have you force. looked at Kaya? True. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. He's just Sorry, saying it to show off throughout the whole podcast. <laughs> I was trying to find the budget still, but I give up. My apologies. It'll be lost forever now. Yeah, so, lost media. Lost oh, wait, back to back to lost media. What's the creepiest thing that you've ever uh, discovered? Uh, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. The creepiest thing? It has to be like some low budget thing that no one, uh, no one, no one has even thought about. Um, Jesus, I have to get back to you on that. I don't know what that would be. How about the I know most? I've thought like... about this before. How about the most... like, it's just... Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. No, no, you're good. It's just not coming to mind. Like, I know there's been, like, weird discoveries and, like, just things that we've never even thought about. Um... Has there ever, like, a real-life, like, serial killer footage that it's ever been so, unearthed by a campaign? I was about to say, this is why I have the vodka. I was about to say, <laughs> there is, like, a really dark uh, underbelly to Lost Media that we sort of try to stay away from but it's it's hard to avoid um yeah there are like some snuff. like some like some really like fucked up films and snuff uh, movies i want to say snuff movies but like okay so a really good example that just happened not just happened it was a while ago um is the christine chubuck uh live broadcast thing y'all know about that mm -mm, no. i don't mm -mm. it was a reporter she was a porter who was like really, really depressed, right? She was like not in a really good mental state. She was like entering her 30s. She uh, was at risk of not being able to have children. Um, so it's like she wasn't all there. So one day she just went on a live broadcast, brought a revolver, uh, reported like on her own death saying that, oh, you are, because it, it was a live news uh, thing, you are... In living color, about to see the first ever uh, attempted suicide. Pulls out the gun, shoots herself. Holy How long? Shit. It's pretty bold. Nineteen. Oh god, when was it? I actually heard about this story. Yeah. I thought it 1974. was nineteen seventy-four. No, there was a guy. No, no, no. I just, I distinctly remember watching a. Old... That's Bud Dyer. But yeah, yeah, you're right. The oh, big ball yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that one's found. Like we, we made sure to keep that one. Okay, good. Like Thank God. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah, that isn't one Bud too. Isn't Bud Dwyer yeah. the guy who was like, "Everyone, stand back! I don't want you to yeah, get hurt." Yeah, like stand back, stand back, and then he just does it, and, and you then he see just the blood. shoots himself. Yeah, yeah, everyone's freaking yeah. out. Yeah, but, but anyways, so here's where it gets interesting. It was gone. It was the '70s, so it the 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 news uh, station might have had a copy. I think. I, I in fact, I think I I think they confirmed that they did, but don't quote me on that. Anyways. You know, what happened happened. It was really sad. And for whatever reason, in the past couple of years or so, there have been people trying to, like, recreate footage and, like, fake it and, like, make hoaxes and stuff. But then... Poorly. Why? 
but then with like Adobe in after effects 2019 2020 it was it was fairly recently the audio was leaked oh. there was a youtube video i had some people like message me like hey have you seen this and i looked through it and i discussed it with others and it i think this either the station or like a relative of of christine came forward and said that yeah it was it was genuine huh so How nice. So, well, then whoever has the audio also has the video, then, right? Because like, I was about to say, yeah, there's no way that someone just has the yeah. audio. Yeah, why leak well, that? Which, which makes it even creepier that this one person is just holding on to this footage for some reason. Just I can't remember it. his name, but we uh, we end up we got in contact with him, and uh, I forgot his exact words. I think he just wanted to get it out there. So whatever the hell that means. All right, Kyle, yeah. go ahead and play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely Kyle. i don't have it i'm sorry one example that comes to my mind though is the video that the rotenburg cannibal made uh, the german cannibal who invited somebody from Damn the internet it. to come over oh, i was oh, oh, i was going oh. to say that one um wait wait wait. what is that cannibal Something cafe was cannibal cafe well there used Armin, to be Armin, Armin Armin where... was... yes that guy do you know him do you know the yeah, story? I don't know him, but I know we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> we're actually good friends. We go back. We're actually related. Listeners, this was a guy who, back in the day, in the old internet, he found a guy on the internet to come over to his place and be consensually eaten by him. So he drugged him up, cut up his penis, stir-fried it, and then I guess it was too chewy to enjoy. Anyway, he bled the guy out in the bathtub and then butchered him, literally, and then kept his meat to eat for several years. He was eventually caught, but apparently he filmed this, all of this process, and this film was only ever screened to the police, uh, sorry, by the police to journalists. And the journalists afterwards, some of them had to seek therapy because of what they had seen. And I really just, I am so fucking curious what the hell was going on in that videotape, but I think only the police have it. What was the purpose? I, I, think, it was also shown, it. I think it was shown during the trial. Yeah, I think that was that the purpose. That would make sense. Which yeah. just makes it better. They do have Both. screenshots it was online. Shown to, point is, it was shown only to select few people, and I don't know if those uh, screenshots are real, Charlie. Yeah, they, it says uh, four screenshots quotes. can be found online, but the credibility of the screenshots has never been proven. So, not sure. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be surprised how many uh, times people try to fake this shit. Yeah, why? What, what's the point of faking this kind of stuff? Just for attention? Uh, faking doesn't cloud. mean attention. Yeah. That doesn't mean they actually sit down and make prosthetic things. Like you can just take a screenshot from a horror movie and you know yeah. make it look old and put the, that the up. fake footage is of of, of Christine Jabuk, uh looks like someone made a went through like a lot of effort to make it, even though it's obviously fake. But like clearly they're not above putting work into it. <laughs> That's annoying. That is annoying. I was I was thinking about that exact same thing as well. Once we brought up like creepy found footage stuff. I because I was looking up this story recently again because I remembered it. I really would be curious to know what the fuck was filmed there because like the screenshots, even if they aren't real, are still really unnerving. Like it, the bathtub, there's a screenshot of like the bathtub and like the facility, like his apartment or whatever. That place looks straight out of a fucking nightmare. I think it was like four hours long too, like of just like raw footage. Oh my god doing their thing so i could die happy having never seen that to be honest yeah that one that one's not probably as cool as sesame street or anything but that one's just like super <laughs> morbid curiosity thing yeah, well, yeah show that to the children <laughs> <laughs> the tapes give those up. christian mom something to cry about <laughs> yeah big bird i just found a great hero rocker. Hey, uh, listen to this. Here's a lost media hero. The remarkable story of a woman who preserved over 30 years of TV history. Oh, Thousands yeah. of hours of Marion Stokes' personal recordings will now be digitized. She apparently 24-7 just recorded her TV and she now has 71,000 VHS and Betamax cassettes. Yeah, that's a big that one. That are going into the Internet Archive's physical storage facility to be digitized. That is so cool. I have no idea when that's actually happening, but... That story gets popped up whenever we're trying to find, like, an old TV show or whatever. And it's like, well, she might have it. That's so she awesome, might. though. Yeah. It's fucking sick. So I'm hoping that uh, King Koopa is somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. I'll find him one way or another. <laughs> he won't escape my wrath. <laughs> He'll get him eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just, yeah, there's a lot of morbid curiosity. Uh, and I get why, but uh, 
I just want to say, like, no one, no one is actively trying to find this stuff. Like, it's just, it just, it's lost media by definition. So do you no, do sense. you try to stay away from the darker elements of this kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I'll talk about some of the creepy stuff, but not like the death footage. In fact, I can only really talk about it, like on podcasts. So is this kind of cool? Yeah, it makes sense. You I probably can't show anything from it. Yeah, that too. I just want to like encourage people to find it. So. Good old YouTube. I love Nothing YouTube. That. Yeah. One of my favorite uh, darker ones is a harpy in the brain. What's in that? In the 1970s, like some 27 year old woman, for some reason, decided to like drill a hole in her own head. Okay. Mm. Okay. What's that shit called? I harpy. see where she's going with this. Continue. It's uh, called Jeffrey Dahmering. No, no, no. It's a uh, trepanation. Yeah. Trepanation. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 where they like, it's like some weird medical shit. It's like pseudoscience. I have no idea why. She did the shit on like birds and shit, and then she did it on herself. And it's actually was screened as early as like 2009 or 11 or something. And uh, there's a few clips online, but I, 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 I want to see the whole thing is still found or still lost. Is she? What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait so why, why did she do it? Uh, to demonstrate uh, tre uh, trepanation, like a pseudoscience of like going into your brain and like and doing some, some weird shit. She she survived. Yeah, she's alive. And yeah, she's good, dude. She's even better now. Yeah, she's stronger, <laughs> she's smarter, faster, smarter. Maybe it's not a pseudoscience. <laughs> Maybe there's something to it. We're all wrong. Amanda Fielding like claims trepanation might make us happier, healthier, and help people at risk for Alzheimer's. She's not only an expert, she conducted the operation on herself to see what it was. Holy shit. How do you drill into your own fucking skull and not just be like, ow, that hurts, like, I can't keep doing this. Power. Yeah, and how does yeah. it make you happier? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is she just severing her frontal lobe so now she's too stupid to realize that, like, shit's bad? She maybe just that's ignores the whole button in her brain. She just flipped yeah. it, basically. Now she's happy. Yeah, or maybe she was like... Online. This is a huge mistake. This is painful. I'm going to die. Oh, wait, I didn't die. Oh, thank God. Life is so good. I'm going to cherish every moment now. <laughs> wait, what's it gave found? herself Hold a near-death experience. Oh, my God. This is so oh, no, I think wacky. It's, I, I think it's, she's still alive. I think it's still lost, but it was screened in London in 2011. So, all right. How, if there was how ever the fuck a screening, is something from 2011 lost media? If there was ever a screening of this film anywhere, I would go and see it. Well, can't you get in contact yeah. with her? She's alive, and she's really proud of her work. It well, like. unfortunately, Jackson, because of her work, she no longer can answer a phone. She doesn't know how. <laughs> but. but she's happy. She's super happy about it, yeah. Yeah, so that was a weird oh, one. Boy. It was just trippy seeing clips of it. This is fucking cool. This this is cool. I've never heard of this before. We uh, should we could get one of us to do... Jackson, you should do it. Oh, uh, pass. I don't no, want to be happy. pussy, come on. I don't, I don't want to be happy if it means <laughs> drilling a hole in my head. Jackson, what if it means that if you drill a hole in your head like that, you will see visions of Star Wars and Legos until you die? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a see? really insane acid trip. You sound so happy. Yeah, I love being boiled down to two characteristics. <laughs> okay, and dinosaurs. You're yeah, welcome. Dinosaurs are there, too. Yeah. I want a little melting pot, a little stew. We call it Jackson Grub. So what? So we know that um, who, who was it? One of the Kennedys, one of the Kennedy daughters, also mm -hmm. got lobotomized, right? Yes. What the fuck? That was different. How's that different? That's still a hole in the head, right? Yeah, but the, the, she, a, a, Amanda Fielding, wasn't performing a lobotomy on herself. She was literally drilling a hole and getting out. You, you're talking about the Kennedys' daughter. Who yeah. they sent to get a lobotomy because she was a uh, lashing out or something. And even then, not really. They kind of just did yeah. it because they didn't like her. Yeah, they just really didn't like her and it ended up God completely damn. ruining her life. Yeah. Also, yeah. As a, her as a political threat. So they need to take her out. So they lobotomized her? That's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty that's, much. Holy just, shit. That's, that's really what a, happened. It's yeah. such a fucked up story. It legitimately is. Yeah. I did not know about is it, this. Is this JFK's daughter? Uh, or, no, this was. Now? I think this was JFK's sister. What was her name? Kathleen Kennedy, I think it was. No, not Jesus. No, oh, Jacqueline. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> Kathleen. Kathleen <laughs> Kennedy is the Star, Star Wars, Wars lady. <laughs> yeah, was she lobotomized? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fun fact: um, John F. Kennedy also had a hole opened in his skull. No, not Jacqueline. I'm a fucking idiot. Though. 
It's yeah, Rose. The family. Yeah, Jacqueline. I'm, Jacqueline was his wife. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, it's, it was Ro Rosemary. Rose Kennedy. Yeah, they they uh, separated her from the rest of the family. Wouldn't allow contact. Gave her a lobotomy where she was awake during the procedure, and they had her singing like the Star Spangled Banner. And as she started slurring, they'd know that they're getting a little too deep. It was so fucking horrifying to read. <laughs> By the that time she's slurring, insane. you've gone too far, right? You can't, like, unflip now, that switch. Now, hold on a moment. <laughs> hold on a moment. They might have been correct because she died at 104. Yeah, she, so Whoa, she, she, she made it a while. But all of those years post-lobotomy, she was spent in assisted living. Yeah, but you guys said that you'd do anything anything for immortality. So what if yeah. this is the solution to immortality? Conscious immortality. Yeah. Oh, conscious. Always, you're always no, moving I the goalposts. You're always moving the goalposts. It's not a goalpost. I don't want to live forever just as a vegetable. That's not well, what's living. What's the difference between floating in outer space doing nothing? You're basically a vegetable. Yeah, but you're That's thinking. That's waiting. Yeah, you're, you're yeah, thinking. thinking. Oh, who wants to think for the rest of their fucking immor like, immortal life? That sounds so fucking okay. miserable. It's Jorge, better than not thinking. Yeah, Jorge, what do you think about immortality? Yay or nay? Oh, uh, nay. No, at some oh, point I'd fuck? be like, this sucks. Uh, see? God damn it. Yeah, see, he's smart. Yeah, he's smart. You guys are all just suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shot four. Also, okay, no, so joking. this is this is even more fucking confusing, Charlie. Apparently, there were two Rose Kennedys. <laughs> they cloned the, the lobotomy one was Rosemary Kennedy, who went by Rose, and then there's just a Rose Kennedy. Oh, yeah. well, she was no, growing you, you a little were, bit of brain that right. they extracted. You Wait, were so more right than I was. What was that, Torre? Who lived to 104 then? Rosemary. Uh, Rose Ken no, Rose Kennedy. Rosemary Wait, did not. Rosemary lived to 86. Okay, oh. that's still good for someone who got a fucking lobotomy. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. yeah. This is fucking confusing. Jesus. Well, what was the, what was the other one's secret to living to one hundred and three? Uh, let's find out. Let's go back to <laughs> the Wikipedia. To yeah. Quickly uh, go through her surgeries. Did she have anything wacky? Trepanation. Yeah. <laughs> Trepanation uh, performed by Amanda Fielding. <laughs> uh, okay, so apparently she lived that long because she didn't get pneumonia. And then she got pneumonia and died at 104. <laughs> so, so her secret was fuck. avoiding pneumonia. <laughs> Don't get pneumonia if you want to live a long time. Uh, she's doing pretty good, but eventually, inevitably, yeah. she couldn't die pneumonia. forever. Yeah. It's her Achilles heel. What okay, if she so never got it, and then she just lived forever? Holy I shit. figured out this big puzzle. Apparently Rose Kennedy was JFK's mom. So Rosemary was her daughter, I guess? Right? That would make sense? Yeah, I would think so. I sure. But why, she's not listed- Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosemary was one of her daughters. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we've solved it. We've put the Rubik's Cube together. I'm- I'm still puzzled by the lobotomy thing. <laughs> In, like, <laughs> the, the- the 20th century. <laughs> Yeah, it was. He actually won a Nobel Prize for it, if I remember correctly. So he went. He, <laughs> yeah, he went in like through her eyeball or some shit. It was horrifying. Fuck yeah, dude! Efficiency. And he got awarded for it. Holy shit. Yep, it was pretty fucked up. When did I this saw... happen? Nineteen forty. Oh wow! Yeah, this yeah. happened in nineteen forty. I don't know, I think of lobotomies as like something from like the fucking 18th century or something. I yeah. know. Yeah, th so for for some reason, apparently lobotomies were kind of popular back then. Mm-hmm. Well, it was it was seen like the same shit as neutering a dog. Like it was a way to calm them down and even out their moods. Mm. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Would you ever do it? Oh, like, don't answer immediately. Think about it. For what? Like, like, would like, I perform one? Yeah, would you get a lobotomy? But don't no. don't answer immediately. Like really think about it. For what though? It just you know. <laughs> for what? <laughs> to prank? Yeah, do, I get, do I get anything from this? It, will it uh, you get to be happy. Yeah, you get yeah, to be the to be happy. But that's what does that mean? Yeah, I don't know. Look <laughs> it up. We're getting existential. <laughs> I I wouldn't do it. I just wanted to know if you guys wanted that's to. That's a fucking like, crazy opinion. But you had it's to good think enough about for that. Rose like, Kennedy. It's good enough for me. Yeah. I mean, have people been consensually lobotomized, or has it always been someone just taking their daughter? Oh, uh, there's Amanda Fielding, who chose one day just to yeah, drill true. a horn head. Yeah, true. She, she did that herself. It's probably a case that, by case true. basis. I guess that's the difference between trepidation and whatever it's called. What was it? Trepanation. 
Yeah, trepanation and lobotomy is if you do it to yourself, it's trepanation, maybe? Or is it just the way that it's performed? <laughs> well, you're just really fucking wrong. weird that that happened. Like, someone constantly did that and then filmed it, and it was screened. God, I, I really hope that footage comes out at some point. I'd love to know what that actually fucking looks like. Yeah, I kind of want to see it. Chris Angel, if I remember correctly, Chris Angel did one to himself, but it was a magic trick. So yeah, I don't think that happen. was real. I just, <laughs> yeah. th there's something about it. Yeah. yeah. There might have been Man, smoke to, and mirrors there. I used okay. to watch Mind Freak too. Everyone if, watched Mind Freak. It was yeah, so good. I did. God yeah. damn. Rosemary was only 23 when they lobotomized her. Oh it's, my it's god. That yeah. is actually sad, yeah. That's fucked. What if, so you were, you you did a um, lobotomy and you were guaranteed to get Chris Angel Mind Freak powers, would you do it? What powers does <laughs> powers he have? Of the, what? The powers the power of what? The power of the TV show? Yeah, what illusions? Like, yeah, like a camera crew appears behind you and makes everything yeah. happen for you. So in other words, Charlie gains nothing. <laughs> no, because Chris Angel, Mind Freak. Fuck yeah. I get, I get a show what in about Vegas. magic powers? He, 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 he gets walk to learn water. how to Google how to do magic tricks. You get Chris Angel, Mind Freak powers. Whatever that is, you get it. It's nothing. Magic. It's a fucking TV show. You tell Chris Angel okay, that. But, if it was real, though, would you would you want to be a mentally disabled wizard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> where are the pros love, and cons? Really think I, about it. <laughs> I want to read The Lord of the Rings, where they rewrite it where Gandalf is just mentally disabled the whole time. <laughs> I don't think that would be a e great book. I don't think the eagles are like wheelchair accessible. <laughs> he, he wouldn't make uh, the trip to a <laughs> Mordor. <laughs> Oh, man. God, I just remember that one episode where he gets fucking ran over by a steamroller for no reason. Gandalf? Gandalf? <laughs> no, 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 Chris Angel. Holy oh. shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened yeah. in the Lord of the Rings yeah, last week? I remember the Battle of Helm's Deep was going on, and then Gandalf <laughs> had to fight against a fucking caterpillar. Yeah, hey, yeah John Deere came in with the riding mower, and Gandalf <laughs> was powerless. Turned him into a pancake. You heard all of his bones crunch. Yeah, but, but so yeah, wait, who are you I do remember about? that episode. He's, the Chris Angel episode where he gets run over by the steamroller. Mm -hmm. See, that's a pretty useful power. It's not. The power was he put a tarp <laughs> over a hole and the steamroller yep. pushed him into the hole. Well, that's do you useful. Remember, I, do you remember I his believe, worst illusion ever? I where, believe there's also glass on the floor, too. Yeah, he put, you, like, broken beer bottles and stuff on it. Do you remember he his worst illusion ever in the world when he was on TV and this couple was standing in a hotel hallway? Oh, he and he's like, I'm gonna and, teleport you. Yeah, and he goes, I'm gonna teleport you. It's like, you're gonna act as if you just got here! And he puts a sheet in front of the camera and lowers it, and they're standing at the front door. And they're like, how did we get here? Oh my god! And he's it's like, very, very clearly just actors. But then he does it no. again, and he's like... All right, then I'll send you back. And then they, 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 he puts the sheet up, and then they're further away. <laughs> it's See? so clearly just actors or editing. It's, it's so, good. so fucking terrible. Mind Freak is an amazing show. <laughs> I remember wanting to believe that it was real so bad oh, back when man. I was like ten. Same. I was like, fuck. Everyone then, did. The one stunt I did think was cool was in the, when he was supposed to get run over by a roller coaster. And the way that they timed how long he had to escape from his handcuffs and shit was the roller coaster going over the track, and he was part of the final loop. Do you remember that? that that's some Houdini remember. shit. It was pretty fucking sick. Not gonna lie. He did I do like rewatch it. Yeah, I would highly recommend rewatching it. He did do some real magic tricks, but the vast majority was just editing. Yeah, he fucking or actors ass. or actors. True or actors. Yeah. Uh, speaking of YouTube lost media, there was like an old channel dedicated to just exposing Chris Angel, like just explaining how he did shit. I remember vividly watching a video that explained that uh, he walked on water with a uh, with like clear poles in the water that he couldn't yeah. see. Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. it's yeah, all yeah. obvious. Yeah. Captain Disillusion? No, 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 this one, no, no, I, I think no, no, I know no. exactly what channel he's talking about because I used to look it up as well because I wanted to be like Chris Angel every kid did. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was really doing it. I didn't want to do it. I remember when uh, he did the levitating trick and they exposed how he did it. And as a kid, I would practice it all the time because I was like, I want to look like I'm levitating. This is so fucking cool. Yeah. I think it was called like Mind Freak Exposed or something like that. Mm. Do you remember the special, the magician secrets? Yeah. With the guy who wore the, the cool magician. fucking mask. Yeah, the masked, the masked magician. magician. Yeah. The one I oh, always yeah, remember. I do. 
the, the problem with like some of those tricks is like you you can pretty much figure out how it is based on how they set it up. One of them that I always remember is when they disappear a tank. And the whole point is they hype it up the whole show. He's like, coming up next, the masked magician disappears an M1 Abrams tank. And like, it's a real tank and they show off the tank and they're like, look, we're going to disappear a tank. And then they finally get to the trick and they go, the masked magician doesn't need anything to disappear this tank from thin air except his lovely assistants and his magic picture frame. And I'm like, oh, what? a oh, magic picture frame? You didn't say anything about that. No shit, that's how the trick is done. What the fuck? And then it turns out that they put the picture frame around the camera so you don't notice they're moving it out of frame of the tank. Yeah. yeah. It's like, no shit, because like, you didn't tell us about the magic picture frame until the very end. No, what are you, no, an amateur magician? Every magician knows about magic picture frames. Yeah. It's like an essential tool yeah. to a magician's kit. I know. Kit. It's just so dumb. It was such a waste of my time. I was so excited. Talk about this gratuitous... Is this fucking tank disappear? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about gratuitous, like, uh like nudity or whatever why was he like constantly surrounded by strippers <laughs> well, they're well, distractions that, yeah that, that, that there's like an actual purpose yeah uh, the, there's a is. uh that's a big part of uh, magic you have a distraction so people don't notice the like small but, subtle things you do but they were genuine strippers like they had their titties out and stuff so only yeah. like men and lesbians would be distracted have you seen the amazing jonathan he's a comedian magician Oh, Jackson. that rings a bell. He's yeah. really, really good. I think he recently died, but he was very funny and very good magician. And one of his skits was literally, we're going to do the disappearing scissors trick. Uh, no, no one in the audience ever knows where these scissors go. Ready? One, two. And then a big tittied woman comes out and drops something on stage and goes, oops. And the scissors are gone when it cuts back to him. And he goes, all the men in the audience are astounded by this one. They don't know where it went. <laughs> that was his joke. Yeah. Yeah. I think I vaguely remember him actually. He was like a like a comedian almost. Yeah, he was. He was a stand up comedian who did magic tricks. He, he was like, great. I think he had long hair and shit. He did the banana routine. He, yeah, he wore a bandana everywhere. Um, he did a, his famous trick. His most famous trick was he would swallow razor blades, and uh, he would bring them back up with a single string, and they'd all be like threaded onto the string from his stomach. It was insane. I wonder if any that kids tried that at home. <laughs> that was that was oh, actually one of Chris Angel's tricks too. Really? Yep. I, I, I know the that. amazing Jonathan did it first. He did it back in like the early two thousands, like nineties. Oh yeah, dude, I vaguely remember this guy. Yeah. Holy um, shit. If anyone out there is listening and is interested, please watch a stand-up special by the amazing Jonathan. He's really, really good and really funny. Oh, he died this year. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard of it. Oh, fucking sucks. Well, Cancer, well, I think. Probably pneumonia. Oh, yeah. No, I think he had cancer. Damn. Yeah. Unlucky. Well, this is really him. great stuff. Check him out. This episode's dedicated to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jorge just ripped the shot for him. That's the amazing <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, should we wrap your mouth? Yeah, we can wrap. We can wrap. Yeah, sure. Let's wrap. All right. Thanks for joining us, Jorge. Do you want to shout out your channel? Let people yeah, know so, where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube at Blame It On George. And uh, yeah, I talk about lost media here and there. As well as nice. like conspiracy videos and stuff like that. Every now and then, whenever Dan Schneider does something, I'll be on him. <laughs> Someone, someone's got to. <laughs> no, I don't watch. Yeah. 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 It's a where, hefty responsibility. Where is he currently? Like, what's he doing at the moment? He's hiding somewhere in his, <laughs> in his house in LA. Uh, he did one interview, but then the Janet McCurdy shit came out and... Uh, yeah, we have not heard from him since, so... Who's protecting him? Fee. Money. Hollywood. Yeah, God. Hollywood. Jeffrey yeah, Epstein's spirit. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, um, yeah. so go check out Jorge. He's got great content. Uh, interesting Lost Media videos. And, yeah, thanks for joining us, man. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Everyone at home. Uh, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes. It would really mean a lot to us if you rated the show on iTunes and Spotify. It really helps us out. Uh, yeah, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 See ya.